everyone, it's Tracy off the kids team again, Inspiring Health Lifestyles, let's get moving. Um, I hope you're all keeping well in this really difficult, weird time. Um, I know I've not been sleeping too well, um, and I've had a few struggles these past few weeks. But I went doing my own shopping this morning at 8 o'clock because I've been awake since 2am uh, cleaning like I do. And my mum said that I looked well. So I thought I'd do this video or vlog today because if your mum said it, it's got to be right, hasn't it? So today we're doing chicken nuggets and potato wedges. I bought chicken strips, which is just purely for convenience. You can buy chicken breast and chop it up. You can buy cubes. You can get any what that you like. Um, I've got one egg beat into a bowl. I've got some orange bread crumbs just to show you the difference some white bread crumbs and I've already chopped one potato so if you look at that it was just a small potato the size of the palm of my hand so there is so many there there's enough there for a child's portion what we do with the wedges so as I said my two boys one will like spicy one won't one's here now do you want to come and help do you want to do your spicy ones so into a spicy one, we've got a little bit of chilli pepper, he likes hot food. We've got a little bit of piri piri seasoning and we've got a little bit of potato seasoning. If you're using garlic powder, make sure it's garlic powder and not garlic salt. Just a little bit of that. I'm going to add one little drop of oil. You can use fry light, you can use coconut oil, anything that you've got in really. And then I'm just going to close the bag and I'm going to give it a good shake. You have potato wedges, there's enough there for a portion. So onto a baking tray. I'm, I'm also going to show you how to chop the potato wedges because they need to all be roughly the same size. So cut it in half, watch them little fingers. Keep turning your potato, make sure they're all the same size. If you don't, you're going to have some cooked and some raw. So again, this potato for my older son was slightly bigger than the last one, but as I said, it's older. So his portion can be a little bit more but as you can see again, there is more than enough there for a portion when you've got your chicken nuggets on. So to make your nuggets, chicken, I've whisked an egg, pop your chicken, fill it into your egg, and then pop it into the breadcrumbs. And there you have a chicken nugget. Grease proof paper onto a baking tray and just line it up. And you just keep doing that until you've made enough chicken nugget. So put them in the oven on gas mark five or about 170 degrees and cook the wedges until they're nice and crispy. Uh, so that's usually about half an hour, but they need turning halfway through. And the chicken nuggets, if it's small chunks, need less time than the goujons. So these goujons will probably take around 20 to 25 minutes. I will turn them halfway through. Slice it in half, make sure the chicken is pure white and cooked on the centre. As we don't want to risk food poisoning. And always wash your hands after mauling with raw chicken. If you make them from scratch, you can always freeze them in batches of four or six, depending on how many children you have. If you want to try it with fish as well, River Cobbler is quite a good fish to use. Uh, and that's cheap from Asda, or you can use cod if you can afford it, or salmon. But again, that would go into the egg and then into the orange breadcrumbs because fish fingers are orange. So just keep doing that until you've got enough potato wedges, enough chicken nuggets, and you've got a healthy meal. 